Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can do salary prediction or predict an employee's salary using machine learning with Python. So I'm not going to tell you that which model we are going to use because I'll show you practically that how you can visualize your data and then understand that what is the relationship between your data set and then decide the model. So we'll look at our data set, the pattern that the data is following and then we'll decide our model then and there. Okay, so this video is part of a machine learning with Python video series. Till now we have discussed first of all what is machine learning, what are the types of machine learning, what are the Python packages which are required for this machine learning journey and in detailed explanation of each Python packages and we have also seen some of the machine learning models. I guess we have done four models. So we'll use one of them here. The link for the playlist will be provided in the I section as well as in the description. Okay, so I won't waste any time and quickly jump to our notebook to write our code. Okay, so now we are into our notebook. So our first task is to import our required libraries, which is NumPy, Pandas and Matplotlib. Okay. Okay, so now we have imported our libraries. We have imported pandas with the short notation as pd, numpy as np and matplotlib to plot our data set as pd. Okay, so now let's load our data set and store that into a variable. Let's say data set. Okay. Okay, so there you can see we have used our pd.readcsv method to read the data which is present in our salary.csv file. Now I'll provide this notebook as well as this data set in the link below. It will be a GitHub link. You can download both of them from there. Originally, this data set is from a competition of Kaggle. So I'll provide the link for that competition also. Now this is our data set. We are having only two columns here. First is the year of experience and second is salary. Okay. So now let me comment this out. Okay. So now our first task is to decide that what is the independent value and what is the dependent value. So clearly we can see that if we remove this command and see our data set, we can see that our salary is our dependent variable which is dependent on this year of experience value so year of experience is our independent variable and salary is our dependent variable so we'll just uh, use numpy to extract both of the column into different variables Okay, so now we have stored our independent variable into this x variable, this first column and the dependent variable or the value which we have to predict into this y variable here. Now, if you are confused that how we are using this i log and this read CSV method here, then I have created dedicated video for both NumPy and Pandas. This was from NumPy section and this is from Pandas section. I'll provide the link in the description as well as in the I button. Okay, so you can get from there. Now let's visualize our data set and see that what pattern the data set is following so that we can decide that which model we have to use. So we'll use our matplotlib package here.
okay so there you can see that our data set is following somewhat a linear and a polynomial pattern so i'll show you in both ways that how we can use our linear regression model as well as polynomial model to predict the values okay then we'll compare that which model performs better we can see that polynomial is the method which is perfect but still we'll see with the linear method also okay so now let's use our sklearn.model selection package so that we can split our data set into test and train so let me first explain you that what is test and train uh, test and train so we'll divide this uh, data set which is of i guess 34 uh, rows into test and train section which is usually 70 30 80 20 in ratio then we'll provide our train data to our model so that it can understand that what is the relationship between the data and then we'll provide our test uh, data after the model is trained so that we can test the accuracy of our data set okay now once again if you want to understand more about this then i have created a dedicated video for test train split okay okay so our data set is split it into test and train let me take some time to explain here that what is happening so first of all we have imported our train test split module from our sklearn.model selection package then we have splitted our data set x and y x was the independent variable and y was the dependent variable the test size is 0.2 or the split is 20% which is 80% of train data and 20% of test data okay so the random state is 0 you can select any number here but if you want your answer to resemble with mine select 0 here this random state defines that what will be the splitting of data I mean how randomly the value will be splitted into test and train like if we select one maybe this is train this is test this is test again this is test again this is train so i guess you got my point this random state defines that what will be the random selection of data which is distributed in test and train okay so now let's import our model library which is linear regression module okay so we have imported our linear regression module from our sklearn.linear model package now let's create a regressor object or this linear regression regressor object okay so now let's train our model so i uh, will call our regressor object regressor.fit and then we have to provide our train model here so uh, x train and y train okay so let's train our model and we are getting an error uh, input variable inconsistent sampling okay okay so we were having some error here actually i have just made that uh, x chain x chain so let's do all of the changes okay so our model has been trained now let's create a y predict variable which will store our predicted value then now we'll provide our train data so that prediction can be done here we have trained our model then in this line we are doing the prediction okay so the prediction is done let's see how our y predict variable uh, variable is looking okay so this is the list now let's see that how accurate this is to the real value so we'll print our y test also so 1200 1200 pretty close 
88 91 okay 73 66 very huge difference 1200 1100 still good 101 97 okay so this is also pretty close now let's draw the graph and visually see that how our best fitting line is looking okay so there you can see that this is our graph the red points are our uh, data points and this blue line is our best fitting line there you can see that this is perfectly uh, following the pattern but at some places the data points are scattered so let's try our polynomial models to see that how close that model can do to satisfy our data set. okay so let's import the polynomial feature first which will convert the data into polynomial data okay so finally we have imported our polynomial features module here now let's convert our x uh, column or our x variable which is our independent variable into polynomial data okay okay so first let me explain you what is happening here first of all let me run this okay so uh, first of all we are creating a polynomial features class object called poly with the degree 2 this is the degree for our polynomial curve then we are transforming our x data set which is our independent data into a polynomial data and then we'll use our linear regression model only to draw the perfect fitting line the only difference will be that this time the the best fitting line will be a curve or a polynomial line okay now let's uh, train our model so regressor i guess this is what the name of the variable was yeah regressor regressor dot fit and then x poly is the new polynomial x variable and the y will remain the same okay so our model has been trained this is a very small data set this is why this isn't taking that much time okay so now let's visualize our data set as well as the best fitting line so that we can see how the polynomial regression is different from this linear regression so we'll simply copy this and paste it here the only difference is inside this we don't want this we want to uh, transform so we'll paste this here so we are predicting from the poly dot fit transform okay so let's draw our curve and there you can see that this model is somewhat performing better than our linear regression model there you can see this model is able to satisfy the points over here as well as here okay so this was a much simpler approach to this problem and this is a much advanced approach now let's create the y predict variable and compare the value numerically there you can see this is the predicted value and this is the actual value so you can compare 3900 3400 which is pretty big difference this is the data point here okay so 3600 4600 okay so the starting data points are somewhat scattered so the predicted value is not that perfect but there you can see the middle values of the 5400 and somewhat here this is predicting really good so we can see visually also that this model is somewhat performing better and these differences due to the unavoidable errors which is present in any model because we don't want to overfit our model okay so this is it for this video this is what 
I have promised at the starting of the video that I'll do salary prediction. So we have taken our year experience as our factor which is influencing the salary. There you can see we are having only two columns. You can use multiple columns here and select that what are the factors affecting the salary if there are multiple columns present and then you can use multiple linear regression to or multiple polynomial regression to perform this okay so i'll provide the link of all the models as well as all the video of my machine learning with python video series link in the description you can watch from there okay so this is it and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll do something more awesome okay so meet you there Bye-bye.